Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be reading a story called The Most Magnificent Thing and it is by Ashley Spires. And usually if there's two names that means one is the illustrator and one is the author. But in this case there's only one name so that means Ashley Spires drew the pictures and wrote the words. Ooh, so she's the author and the illustrator. All right, let's take a look. This is a regular girl and her best friend in the whole wide world. They do all kinds of things together. They race, they eat, they explore, and they rest. So this is the girl and this is her best friend. Hmm, what do you think her best friend is? I think it's a puppy. She makes things and he unmakes things. One day, the girl has a wonderful idea. She's going to make the most magnificent thing. Ooh. She knows just how it will look. She knows just how it will work. And she has to do, all she has to do is make it. And she takes, she, ta she makes things all the time. Easy peasy. So she makes things all the time. It might be easy peasy for her. First, she hires an assistant. Ooh, I think I know who that is. Next, they gather their supplies. They set up somewhere out of the way and get to work. Hmm, do you think that's out of the way? What do you think? Let's see. The girl tinkers and hammers and measures while her assistant growls and chews. When she is finished, she steps back to admire her work. She walks around one side. Her assistant examines the other side. It doesn't look right. Her assistant picks it up and gives it a shake. It doesn't feel right either. They are, they are shocked to discover that the thing isn't magnificent or good. It isn't even kind of sort of okay. It's all wrong. The girl tosses it aside and gives it another go. So she's not giving up. She's going to try to make it again. She's going to give it another go. She smooths and wrenches and fiddles. Her assistant circles and tugs and wags. I turn her assistant. When she is finished, she stands up and takes a long look at it. Her assistant gives it a nudge with his paw. The thing is still wrong. She decides to try again. The girl screws and glues and adjusts. She stands and examines and stares. Hmm. She twists and tweaks and fastens. She fixes and straightens and studies. So she's really looking at this invention that she's making. She tries all different ways to make it better. She makes it square. She makes it round. She gives it legs. She adds antennae. Look, she, look, these are all the different ones that she's tried to make. This one has antennae. This one is a square. This one is round like a sphere. She makes it fuzzy. She makes it long, short, rough, smooth, big, small. One even smells stinky, smells of stinky cheese, but none of them are magnificent. Her hard work attracts a few admirers, but they don't understand. They can't see the magnificent thing that she has in her mind. So they're all looking at her different inventions. She gets mad. Ooh. The angrier she gets, the faster she works. She smashes pieces into shapes. She jams parts together and she pummels the little bits in. Her hands are too big to work. Her hands feel too big to work, and her brain is too full of all the not right things. If only the thing would just work. So she is frustrated, friends. Frustrated because it's not working. Crunch! Uh-oh. The pain starts in her finger. It rushes up to her brain, and she explodes. It is not her finest moment. So she crushed her finger and it went straight to her brain and she explodes. Uh-oh, I wonder what's next. I'm no good at this, I quit. Her assistant suggested a walk. It's not much help at first when they go on their walks. 
But before long, she starts to feel different. Bit by bit, the mad gets pushed out of her head. So she saw balloons, and then she went to get maybe a dessert, like a cake with her friend, with her assistant. So maybe that's gonna help her to feel better. As they stroll along, she comes across the wrong thing she made. The bad feelings are about to start all over again. Then she notices something surprising. They are, there are some parts of the wrong things that are really quite right. The bolts in one, the shape of another, the wheel to seat ratio of the next. There are all sorts of parts that she likes. So she didn't like her inventions, but she thought she could take one of everything and she liked she liked the shape of this one she liked the ratio of this one um by the time she reaches the end of the trail she finally knows how to make the magnificent thing she gets to work she starts carefully and slowly tinkering hammering twisting fiddling gluing painting her assistant makes sure there are no distractions this is the perfect thing to ward off bears this will stop that leak this one's all wet. So people are noticing her inventions on the road. The afternoon, the afternoon fades into evening. Finally, she finishes. She alerts her assistant. Ooh, let's see what she made now. The pair take a good long look. It leans a little to the left and it's a bit heavier than expected. The color could use a bit of work too, but it's just what she wanted. They climb aboard and take it for a spin. They are not disappointed. It really is the most magnificent thing. So friends, in this story, we saw this girl and her assistant, which is her doggie, her best friend, make different inventions and they weren't happy with anything that turned, that came out. But she put everything together and at the end she made the most magnificent thing. And this is something very important to remember because sometimes we all get frustrated but just like the girl, don't give up. You will reach your goal at the end, okay? Thank you for listening. Bye.